Whoa! Are you serious? Look at his tail! I gotta give him one more. Yeah. It's so beautiful and scary at the same time. Oh! Whoa! Guys, I'll show you guys a real quick close up of that. Sorry, I don't yeah. want to be gross, but I just want to show you guys. This is for educational purposes only. Look what happened. Look inside that window right there. Bruh. Is that open? Yeah, and what is that on the ceiling, dude? Is that. You silly, silly Goanna. He lost the first fight, and now he just lost the final battle. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling we're not alone over here, y'all. There could be some. Some paranormal activity going on in this house, y'all. Excuse me. Wait, what did you say? I just saw this. I don't. It says he has a black spot right here. Yeah. And another one right here. Yeah. What do you think, Ninja? Yo! Oh! No, oh. I tell you, it's very spooky out here. There's nothing in that trap. Well, well, well. We are back over here at the Rose Manor. And as you guys can see, it is pitch black out here. It's nighttime. And we are going to be doing some baby iguana removal. Now you guys already know that iguanas are taking over the state of Florida and we've seen a lot of babies out here on the property. So we really can't get them during the day because they're fast, they have good camouflage and they're pretty smart. But that's why we're out here at night so we can see if we can find any of the babies. I'm not gonna lie y'all, we're over here and the house looks kind of spooky. So we got the whole crew with us tonight. And we're going to see how many babies or iguanas in general we can catch. All right. So we're going to get everything set up, y'all. We're going to see how many baby iguanas we can put in the bag. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Yo, it's spooky out here. It is. Okay, so do you guys want me to turn the back, some, some of the lights in the back on? Yeah. Okay. Because I can turn the... I need to, I need to do the cool... So what I'm gonna do, do you guys wanna time? come in through the house or you guys wanna come in through the side? Uh, oh. Ooh. This is like playing hiding no seek for iguanas, y'all. Manhunt times ten. <laughs> Super spooky. Okay. Oh we got lights. Here, come through here, listen Wow. Close the front door? Yeah, I need. <laughs> I got you. Don't leave it open. It will get frogs in here. I'm actually going to lock the front door because we don't know who's going to come into here. So yeah. I'll just lock it. Yeah, lock it. Whoa. Okay. You go. Look at the house. Look down. Look at the house. You can't even see that. Bruh. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty spooky at nighttime. Pretty spooky. Awesome. I gotta turn on the, the pool. I don't know if the pool's gonna scare them. Nah. They should be asleep. I mean, this looks like a. Yeah, this looks it's like, like the African plains out here. What? Wow. Are we in Zanzibar? Nah, this is nice, though. It's all about playing hide and go seek. Oh, Ooh, this place. Wow, spooky, spooky, spooky. It's so beautiful and scary at the same time. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh, whoa! Okay, we need to get out of the water. Oh, there's a frog in the water. Oh, wait. Right over there, he just jumped in. Oh, oh that's sick. This is insane. So as you guys can see, there are some iguana droppings right here. So we know that they're in the area. We just have to find them. They're here hiding.
This is crazy. Look at the different colors of the pool. It like flashes from, from green, red, purple, blue. Absolutely insane, y'all. Now I see why the iguanas love it here. It's like a paradise. Right there, we got a cane toad, y'all. But I seen something big swimming in the water. I, I couldn't tell if it was a frog or if it was a giant iguana. You silly, silly toad. Got a toad, bro. Not an alpha? Okay, perfect. We might have to get the air rifle, dude. Let's go do that. All right, guys, we got a toad so far, and Ninja spotted two or three iguanas, but they're really high. And since it's open season, we're just gonna have to take them out with the air rifle. So stay tuned. We're gonna go get that right now. We're gonna teach him a super fat lesson. Put him in the bag. Yeah, buddy. Look at this, another frog right by the pool, y'all. And there's one in the water, holy smack. They're nesting inside here, y'all. And you gonna grab them? Oh! All right, we'll bring the net and we'll scoop them up. Oh, we caught this one. Yeah. You actually have a couple frogs swimming in your pool. Do you want us to grab them while we're here? Yeah, because they're about to die right now. Are they? Oh, you're about to. Oh, okay. You're about to throw some chemicals. I already found one already dead. So. Okay, we'll go collect those. But um, we see two of them. They're right on. They're right in the trees, but they're over your property. Can we shoot them with the air rifle? Yeah, you can shoot. My husband's not here. As long as he's not here, we're good to go. Okay, you that can works. shoot them all. Perfect, sounds like a plan, we'll be back. Sanitizer on my hands, as I, was, as I was doing that, something just slammed the door shut. It just douche. Like some kind of, like different kind of energy. There's no way me opening up this bottle right here was able to create some, some kind of reaction like that. I have a feeling we're not alone over here, y'all. There could be some, some paranormal activity going on in this house, y'all. This, shh. Now, supposedly this house has been vacant for the last 10 years. Why? I don't know, because it's huge. And our friend just got it. Like, so there's a potentially, who knows what the history is here at this house, y'all. Just to be honest with you. What happened to the old owners? Why hasn't anybody been living here in the last 10 years? And why is it shaped like a castle? And what's with this weird noise? And this weird, the door closing like that. Ninja, what you think, bud? I don't know, man, but I'm ready to go. Ninja's got the air rifle. You got it's loaded up, Ninja. Yeah. Let me bring the other mag, all right? All right, cool. I'm just keeping my eyes and ears open at all times. Hold it's, that rifle, Ninja. It's all right? way too dark to be slipping. And we're basic, basically in the middle of nowhere right now, so surrounded by trees and animals. Who honestly knows, like I said, the history out here or what's going on? What's out here? Who's out here? Hmm. Big, big property, y'all. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe if you like what you're watching. Of course you like what you're watching because you're watching. So stay tuned. Got him. Got him. Mark can't prepare. No. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>
Cameraman with the grab of a thousand. That boy right there. Good job, Manny. Good eye. Damn, that should look fine. Let me see Beautiful. I got him, I got him. Hey, buddy. Whoa, he's feisty. Just calm down. Just calm down. Look at this, guys. Catching iguanas at this giant estate right here. Like I said, we're hearing a lot of weird stuff. We're seeing a lot of weird stuff. And we just landed our first baby. There's no telling actually what is going on over here, guys. This is our second day here. And it seems like things are getting crazier and crazier. Huge shout out to the cameraman, y'all. He ain't just good at filming, y'all. He just caught the first baby iguana. Oh, yeah. You're coming with us, bud, for further questioning. Iguana? We're just gonna throw him right in the bag. Oh, yeah. You caught him? Yeah, we, we caught our first baby. Oh. Hey, baby. All right, check it out. Look, 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 look. He's hiding, guys. Got him. Got him. Good grab. You silly, silly cane toad. And you thought you were going to take over this pool, buddy? Not today. You're coming with us. For the questioning. Buddy. You silly, silly cane toads. Not tonight. No, sir. You're coming with us. So as you guys can see, we just got some cane toads. Right now is the breeding season for them, okay? They like to be in ponds. And this is where they'll find uh, males, will find females, and they'll breed, and then they'll lay their tadpoles in the water. You know, that's not a good thing, y'all. These are highly invasive, and they are toxic. If they were to uh, discreet the slime from their backs, and you were to put that in your mouth, you could get poisoned. And that's a common thing that happens with small children or dogs and cats that will bite these animals. So it's just absolutely insane that these animals are inhabiting this, this pool. Look at this pool right here, guys. Look at this pool. There's all these places that they can go, but they like good real estate. And they've decided to come here and breed. Not today, Toads. Not today. They're coming with us. See that? That's what our friend Tara said is when they're breeding, sometimes a male will grab another male and they'll make that noise like, hey, let me go, I'm not a female. I'm not a female, I'm another male, do not breed with me. And they'll do that kind of weird thing right there. So huge shout out to Tara for, for educating us on that. Yeah, they're cane toads. Cane toads. Yeah. Oh, what I have some water. Oh, yeah. Please, I need some water. That's warm. Oh, yeah. Nice. Thank you, Ms. Ruby. Rolling, bro? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. Baby iguana right up there. I'm going to let you tell me when you got a shot of me. You're good. You're good. I'll try to use my ninja skills to grab them out there. Flash for me, ninja. You get to a close up. Okay. Is that his head right there? Uh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Come to Papa. He's hanging, y'all. He's picking trees. There he is. There he is. Smack down. You silly, silly iguana. You're shooting, man. Thank you, bro. Good spotting. Here you go, this is for you. Now we have a green one to take out, right? You got the extra mag? Here you go. So it's a huge benefit having multiple mags when you're out in the field, y'all. Thank you, Maggie. Because it just makes everything a lot quicker. You can just keep working. You don't have to sit and reload. Ninja has spotted another one. He's gonna see if you can teach him a fat lesson. Put him in the bag. Oh, good shot, Ninja. You clocked him. You clocked him. You clocked him. Oh, man. Caught that thing. It was super fair. Let's put him right here in the grass. 
give him one more. You silly, silly goanna. In the bag. Look at that, y'all. Those iguanas were hanging out here on this beautiful waterfront property, claiming territory, sleeping. It would have just, the, the next day they would have probably came down, go for a swim, and then probably pooped in the pool, y'all. That's one of the, that's the main complaint out here. So it's really good that we were able to get him and teach him a fat lesson and bag him. Let's keep our eyes peeled, y'all. We know that there's iguanas here. We are in iguana territory. So we need to be very diligent and we cannot let our guard down, okay? They're here. It's just a matter of time before we see a giant alpha. Keep your eyes peeled and stay tuned. Ninja just spotted a giant alpha male. He's right, he's right, in, the right in the thickets. Yeah, you, can see, you can see his head. Uh, okay, Ninja, do your thing. Oh, he's right here. You need light, Ninja? Yeah, this one. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh. Oh. Clocked him. Clocked him. Clocked him. In the bag. That silly, silly alpha iguana. Not today. You're on the wrong side of the fence, buddy. Now we got to teach you a fat lesson and put you in the bag. Oh, my oh. goodness. Whoa. Are you serious? Look at his tail. I gotta give him one more. Yeah. Are you cereal? Gee, Willikers, look at his tail. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Wow, he was fighting, dude. That's fresh. That's fresh. That was like earlier today. Wow. Something must have grabbed his tail, either another iguana or another animal, and then he decided to release it. Yeah, look, look. Oh, whoa. Maggots on oh there, my bro. goodness, there's, there's maggots. Oh, sick, dude. Sick, oh, sick. It's all in there, bro. Whoa, that's infected, bro. That is yeah. gnarly. Guys, I'll show you guys a real quick close up of that. Sorry, I don't yeah. want to be gross, but I just want to show you guys. This is for educational purposes only. Look what happened. He got into a fight with another animal, probably a bigger alpha, got his tail ripped off, and then maggots started to infect his tail. You silly, silly goanna. He lost the first fight, and now he just lost the final battle. You're coming with us, buddy. Wait, what did you say? I just saw this. I don't. It says he has a black spot right here. Yeah. And another one right here. Yeah. What do you think, Ninja? Um. That's that's some evidence of uh, something, right? Me looks like I don't know if he's been shot with a real gun. Look, there's another one right here, dude. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's look his fingers, his fit. What? Whoa. Hold on, what is going on? Look right here too, dude. Yo, oh, oh. he must have gotten to a serious fight, bro. There's so, so many there, unanswered questions going you on think over there's here. There's a mega, a mega iguana out here, man. Or what if there's something else, dude? Like a like a Nile monitor or a Komodo or a tegu? Or a tegu. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I mean, the first day we came here, we saw coyotes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So who knows what other things can be out here hunting iguanas, y'all. Oh, guys, drop some comments down below and let us know what you guys think happened to his tail right there. And also, let us know if you guys think those are bullet marks. Did he get shot? Or do you guys think that there's a bigger predator preying on these iguanas? And maybe we should watch out too, Ninja. Because yeah. if he's able to bite the iguana's tail off like that and bite him like that, I mean, I can only imagine what he'll do to human flesh. Well, I ain't trying to find out. No siree. Another iguana? In the back. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, we spotted two more. Is he going for the one on the back? Yeah. I got you with the head. All right, cool. Okay. okay. <laughs> his head is right here. You see his head? Yeah, he oh, there, there he is. Go. There he is, he's Christmas tree. Give him another one, Butch. Oh, you need I got the mag. Yeah. Time to reload the mag. Oh, he's red. Look at him. He's, oh, come here, come here. Look where I'm at, dude. Come here, man. Look, he's red. You see him hanging? You silly, silly iguana. Should have escaped when you had the chance. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. He's in here. Oh, wow. He's right there. He's right where? There. Okay. You see him? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Oh, wow. 
Oh my goodness. Now he's right there. Oh my goodness. Ah, ah, oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at the patterns of this one, dude. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Is that a leopard? Oh, look. He... Bro. What is that? It's a pellet. No way. Somebody else is... Oh. We need to get that pellet out. Here, put him out real quick. Guys, somebody else is, is hunting at our job, it looks like, y'all. And they're not very good because they're just wounding a bunch of iguanas. Yeah, and they're not like, killing look them. Look at that cancerous dot right there. Oh, yeah, you can feel that's a pellet. Should we try to get it out? Oh yeah, look, there's a little, there's a little gash. Let's, let's see if we can get it out, y'all. This is just insane. Push it, yeah, just push it, push it, push it out. Yeah. This Shit, is insane. Come out. Oh. oh, oh, crud. Bro, somebody else is hunting these iguanas. Well, they're trying to, but they, are they, they don't know how to shoot. Yeah, they have a terrible shot. That is insane, guys. That is crazy. That is really crazy, y'all. But I'm glad we were able to get them right now. So you guys are seeing it right here. We're doing iguana removal at the million dollar estate at night because the iguanas out here are just claiming territory, pooping everywhere, eating everywhere, and they're being a nuisance. Our customer, Miss Ruby, she doesn't like these animals on her property. She doesn't mind them, okay? When they're out in the parks or in the wild. But once they start, they cross the line, once they reach her property line and start pooping and start being a nuisance. Yep, that's when we come in. Exactly, y'all. In there, right? <laughs> in the bag. Oh yeah. Did you see him? Oh, got him. You gotta take a step back. Got him. I heard him. He's down here. Got him. Oh, back, oh. You got him? Yeah. All right, cool. You can't see right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got him. Boys, I think there's something bigger out here. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at this. Look at this skin I just found, dude. Look at that skin I just found. Ooh. Whatever made that skin is massive. Look at the scale size of that, individual scales. And to me, it doesn't really look like iguana skin either, you know? Like a, not a snake, but more like... More like Komodo dragon like looking. Komodo or like Asian monitor lizard type. Insane. That's crazy. Yeah, this is not an iguana scale. Nah. It's not. You see how the squares are so small? On the iguana, they're probably a little bit bigger than these right here. There's something big in here, dude. Oh, yeah. There's something massive in this area. Hey, I thought this guy looked bigger, didn't he? Yeah, he looked bigger than yeah. that. <laughs> Still one. Yeah. Ooh, Ninja's on a frog. Ooh, Ninja, he's, tr he's trying to lay some eggs, Ninja. Get him. Got you, buddy. You silly, silly frog. Not today. Maybe they have some kind of routine developed where they, you know, they eat there, they sleep there, and then maybe here they, they swim and use the bathroom and stuff, you know? So, oh, that's why, that's why we're here. So not to worry, all right? <laughs> not to worry, because we know iguanas like water, and they like, they like sleeping in the trees right next to water. Uh, just if they get scared, they can just, they can just like jump in. Jump in. Yeah. But uh, we're going we're gonna to count up, and we're going to keep uh, surveying the area, because okay. there could be more iguanas. And we found a skin of something else. That we think it might be, or something, yeah. Yeah, well, that's logical. Okay, so we're gonna just keep on bagging and tagging. Stay tuned for an update. Ooh, yeah. All right, we're gonna put all the frogs in there. So just to give you guys an update real quick. There they go. Okay, they're cool. They're cool. And then we're just gonna show you guys the iguanas that we just recovered. Insane, guys. These animals just don't learn. You want to count them out, Ninja? Yeah. All right. Oh, man, look at the ants. The ants are ready. We got one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. 
Five iguanas in the bag. Oh yeah. And we just started our hunt. Oh my goodness. So guys, stay tuned. Oh wow, the ants are going Ooh, at it now. The ants are going straight. It just goes to show how hungry everything is here in South Florida. You have flies laying eggs on the infected tail. Ants already going at the carcasses. There's mosquitoes out here. Their animals are just thriving left and right. It, it starts from the smallest animals in the food chain all the way to the biggest, y'all. But stay tuned because I think there's something bigger lurking in these parts. Possibly feeding on these iguanas. We'll let you know if we see anything else. Another one in the bed. You silly, silly cane toad. You thought you were gonna breed in Miss Ruby's pool? Not tonight. Iguana man and Iguana Ninja are here to teach you a super fat lesson and to put you in the bag. Yeah, buddy. Where? Where? That's a frog. That's a frog, yeah. I thought it was a baby, a baby, um, Indiana. Really? It's not. Keep your eyes peeled, though, because sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. You just got to keep on looking. They're sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right, so, we got one right there. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Got him. Come down, buddy. There he is. You got him? Yeah. And I'm back. Had to bring out the long net. Super clutch. Where is he, Ninja? Oh, he's down here. I got him. Oh shoot. Uh, I see him. Watch. He hasn't gone across the other. He's like right there. Yeah. Watch out, man. <laughs> got him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, he's still trying to tail with the fight, bro. Yep. Ah. Ah. Iguana, man. Iguana, man. Ah. So sticks. Ah. You silly, silly go in. Oh. Finish him off, ninja. Put him right in the bag. These iguanas are tough out here, boys and girls. Tough as nails. That's why iguana man and iguana ninja gotta come out here. This one's tail knot off too. Alright, let's let's go on the other side. Jeez. Yeah. Wow y'all, look at that. Nice little pile. It's insane guys. Think about how invasive these animals actually are. I mean, we've been trapping here. We, we took the giant alpha out, but it seems like we did. Another one took his place, took him out as well. It's gonna be cool to see the statistics that we document doing this job, guys. So far we were retrieved, let's see. First day we got seven, two. Today I got four. That is uh, 13 plus 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 so far. It's our second day out here. So there's no telling what we're gonna uh, uncover by the final day. But right now we're gonna go to the front and see who or what is lurking out there. We got the Iguana Ninja, he has my backup. You have the yellow light? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Perfect. Let's go see if we can catch some baby iguanas or some more big alphas. We don't know, guys. Stay tuned to find out and see what happens in the front. Is there another alpha? Is there more babies? Let's find out right now. Sick. Would you say you turn into a basketball court? Yep. Doesn't seem like too bad of an idea. Wow, guys, it's insane. 
absolutely insane. I'm not seeing anything right now. It's very thick, very thick. But as you guys know, these iguanas are masters of camouflage. So they can be anywhere. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, there's one right there. You silly, silly goanna. Woo, ha <laughs> ha, just like that, y'all. Speaking of the green devil, we caught this little bugger. Look at him, he just wants to chew on me. Look at that, wow. Look at that, he's just a baby, but instinctively, he has all the traits of the giant alpha. He knows how to scratch, he knows how to tail whip, and of course, he's ready to bite. Look at that. Although he is an infant at this point, his, his, his bite is not strong enough to break uh, skin. But in a couple years, if he was to evolve into an alpha, his bite would be a devastating blow that can cut your flesh all the way to the bone and require stitches. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Little, little, little well, one. Hello, one. He's feisty. Look, watch this. Whoa, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's just looking at his tongue. Whoa, he's tail whipping. Hey, you little bugger. All right, we're going to put him in the bag. So when we do removal, guys, we do a whole thorough removal, all right? We evaluate the property, assess the situation, come up with a strategy, and obviously we do daytime and nighttime removal. We try to give our customers and clients the best possible result, okay? We just don't leave traps and then, okay, we'll see you in a week. No, we are committed to helping people out, okay? We do whatever it takes. We bring the air rifles, we bring the catch poles, we leave traps, we hunt during the day, we hunt during the night, and we're not here for 10 minutes, guys. We're, we're here thoroughly looking through as many hiding spots as possible because as you know, these iguanas are sneaky, masters of camouflage, and we do not want to let them uh, be here and just uh, pass our eyes. So that's why I bring the ninja. That's why I bring you guys along with me as well, just so you guys can see the experience. We just caught this baby. Stay tuned, y'all. The hunt for more iguanas continues. Did you, did, did you miss that? Ninja just ran into a huge spider web, y'all. And uh, it's funny because we just walked past here and I told them that everything's out to get us out here, y'all. Remember, we're in their territory, all right? This is not our territory. This is the wilderness, y'all. We're out here just trying to control the invasive wildlife and the nuisance wildlife. But it doesn't mean that other things aren't going to be trying to eat us or mess with us as well or hunting. So, okay, now we're in the front. Look at this. Look, how, Come here. Look how scary that is, dude. Ninja, look how scary this is, bro. I don't mean to freak you out. Look inside that window right there. Bruh. Is that open? Yeah, and what is that on the ceiling, dude? Is that? Bruh, what Bruh. is that on the, y'all see that? Can you see that, Manny? Yeah. Zoom in on that. Can y'all see what? Guys, look at that crazy, creepy chandelier up there. And there seems to be some kind of dark colored stain on the wall, on the ceiling. What the, is that? What was that? Oops, excuse my nose. Oh, wow, look at this. Whoa. Dude. Oh my goodness. What is this? Just like pool pumps, maybe? That's, that's crazy. Hello, hello. What if something answered us back like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> bring out the air rifle. Right. We're going to have to get real rifles of that. Bring out our dang AR-15. Oh, yeah. Look at this empty clip. Look, 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 look. That's insane, y'all. Who out there is uh, Halloween fans or, or scary movie fans? Drop some comments and let me know. It's crazy. My birthday's in October and I hate being scared. <laughs> Thank you guys. Ninja, you're out of ammo? One shot? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go reload and let's go because <laughs> we might need some more firepower. I do got the M3 on me too. What if you were just looking at that window and there was some somebody looking back at you? Wouldn't that be kind of freaky? That would be... Like, just like an old, like, lady or something? Any of these windows. What if you were looking in there and somebody's looking back? Oh, my goodness. Another crazy chandelier, dude. Bruh. Woo! 
Okay. Okay. Okay, so a good spot where to find iguanas, y'all, anywhere near waters, ponds, lakes, canals, they sleep next to there in the trees or in the bushes. So if they feel scared or threatened, they don't have to think too much. They already know they can just jump and they have an easy escape into the abyss in the water. No predator is going to go for them, you know, but um, this right here is just going to prove that case right here. We've been looking around here. We've only seen a couple babies. I came right by the water and looky, looky here. Oh, little slippery guy. <laughs> you silly, silly iguana. You thought you would be safe hiding by the water, huh? Not today. Iguana man and iguana ninja are here. And we just taught you a super duper fat lesson, buddy. You're coming with us. Oh, look at him. So as you guys can see, just like what I said was true. If you, if you go anywhere by the water, look up in the trees, look up in the bush, chances are you could find an iguana. But chances are there could be other animals out there more dangerous like snakes and crocodiles. So whenever you're out hunting anything, guys, or herping or fishing or adventuring, you always participate at your own risk because you never know anything can happen at any time. This is nature. There, you know, just as there's a baby iguana here, there could be an alligator in the water looking at me, or there could be a venomous snake right here that I have no idea about. But these are some of the chances that we take when we are recovering wildlife, especially invasive wildlife. We take pride in it. And like I said, if you need help removing iguanas or other nuisance animals, all my contact information is in the description down below. All right, we just caught this baby iguana slipping. Now we're about to put him in the bag. You're coming with us, buddy. Where'd she go? The gate's open, where'd she, look. Her net is right here. Where is she? Seems like she disappeared in thin air. Interesting. Go inside the house. Who are these kids, dude? Uh, Jim and Jerry. Do you think these are kids that used to live here at one point? Could be Jack and Jill. Or it could be that. Who's that, man? Oh, it was a third child. Interesting. Where is this movie? Where is this movie? They're in the back. You want to what about the baby iguana? Did we got, you catch any? Yeah, we got a couple more of them. How many? Uh, I think we got a total of like three or four of them. Oh, okay. Uh, we noticed that they're hiding next to the water, like by the pond. Oh. That's where we've seen a bunch of them. Or that's where we've seen most of them. Alright, let me turn off the water pond over there. Okay. And then we can all kind of... Yes. Leave together. There you are. I was worried about you for a second. No, I went inside. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, the cool thing on the floor. Yeah. Gate is open. Yeah. No, you guys have to get open. Yeah, no. Oops. So, I just closed the back. No, you I think can't. it's closed because I see it. I think there's coyotes out there. So I was like, okay. Yeah, there are coyotes out there. And now it's not broken, so yeah, it is. Now it's Alright, let me put my stick back and then let me just turn all this stuff on. Okay. 
You know there are kids that were living here before? No, I... No, the, I just, I this can't... house is, has been empty for a long time. And the kids that were here were are grown up adults like you guys. Oh, okay. No, I just seen the statue. It was a quite oh. random statue, I guess. Yeah. Okay. warm in here. Woo! Yeah, that's how we keep the door open. So, yeah, all that stuff, like, all the, it's energy. Oh, yeah. You found another one? No, it's looking. Oh. I'm happy, I'm happy with what we did tonight. How many did you catch? We, we, we got a total of, I think, seven or eight adults and like four babies. Wow. So that's just seven or eight adults. Wow. Yeah, and they're all hanging right at, like, facing your pool, you know? Oh, man. So yeah, exactly. So I think, I think they, like, you know, just their behavior is, like, they probably hang out there, and then they sleep here, and then, you know, they come here when they in want. In the morning, it's, like, all over the place. Yeah, in the morning time, right? Yeah, so you guys are going to go out that way, or you guys eat all your, all your little, little eat. you know, reptiles? Yeah, we gotta grab our friends real quick. Uh, here, just come here. We just wanna do the final count with you real quick. Oh my god, that's like really big. You've had a big one too. All right, oh, Miss Ruby, we got a cricket on here feeding on him. All right, Miss Ruby, we just wanna give you the final count just to show you the progress that we've gotten on tonight's recon. Um, real quick, Ninja, you wanna do the final count on the on the adult iguanas? Yes, sir. So we got one. Uh, what happened to the two? Two. I'll tell you in one second, ma'am. We three. have three, four. Oh my goodness! Five and six. We have six iguanas here. So, what happened to his tail? He just recently lost it. Uh -huh. He could have been fighting with another iguana, but uh -huh. we think he could have been fighting with something else too. Okay. Uh, something took his tail. Something also gashed him right there. And his tail got infected, so it's kind of good we got him because he's not in the best of health. So we got six adult iguanas. We have four babies up in here. And I believe we recovered like four cane toads, Ninja? Five cane toads? Uh, I'll say like five, six. Yeah, his leg is kind of like messed up. Oh, yeah. He's all messed up. All messed up. Well, Probably fighting. You know, there's there's a bunch of other wildlife out here. We did see coyotes. And uh, we did find the skin of something bigger. It could have been like a king alpha iguana, maybe a bigger one. Or... You know, who knows what other kind of lizards are out here. We are out here in the middle of nowhere. So there could be monitor lizards out here. There could be tegus. There could be other bigger predators that we're just not fully aware Do of right now. Do you want a bucket for those things? I have another bucket just like the one I just gave you. Yeah? Sweet. So, I'm going to wrap up tonight's removal. Huge shout out to the Iguana Ninja coming out here helping me put a smack down on these invasive reptiles. <laughs> You guys can see how beautiful this estate is and it would be a shame if these invasive animals would come out here and take it over. They're trying to right now, but me and the ninja, we are fighting the battle and the war on iguanas, y'all. It's just starting up. Like I said, now I think we're over 20 iguanas uh, to the date. Um, we're going to confirm that, just get all the information that we need. But these iguanas that were here, these were pretty much the nuisance ones, the culprits, that were pooping by the pool, in the pool, swimming at the pool, eating all the landscape. So it feels really good to remove them off the property. They do not need to be here dropping turds everywhere and being a nuisance. I mean, look, look, turd right there. Even if, even when they're dead sometimes, sometimes they poop. But, you know, it's a huge health concern, guys. Reptiles pooping in pools. And if we were not here doing anything about it, they would literally be taken over. And that beautiful pool would be completely unusable and unsafe to swim in. So I want to give a huge shout out to the Iguana Man gang for watching. Huge shout out to the Ninja. And huge shout out to Miss Ruby for letting us come out here and doing removal, y'all. So she's going to get a bucket. We're going to put them in the bucket. And that's going to be it, y'all. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think about the episode. It was pretty, pretty wild. Not going to lie, a little bit scary uh, doing some removal out here at night. But nonetheless, we worked as a team. We got the job done taught him a super fat lesson and we definitely put him in the bag yeah buddy
You silly, silly iguanas. You should have escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, the camel was just going crazy. Yeah, well, the camel's right there, too, so. Yeah. These buckets, you can have these buckets? You can have those buckets. Thank nice. you. Uh-huh. Well, you think I want those buckets back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. These boys just wash your hands when you get home. For sure. Yes, for sure. <laughs> well, that's going to conclude the night, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe if y'all new. And, uh... Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It was pretty epic. It was fun, but it's time for us to go on the next job. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.